welcome back. So as you might have seen in a couple of my previous videos, I got this new water bottle for Christmas. And it's actually the present that my parents got me. And what I want to do in today's video is let you know a little bit about it, what it's like to use. But more importantly, I want to share with you the reasons why I wanted this particular one. And then what I'm hoping for with this video is that the kind of points I make about this bottle are then transferable to any kind of purchases you're making in the near future, whether that's to do with drinks bottles or something completely different. And hopefully those points will help us toward more sustainable purchases. So just to start off with, the reason why I wanted to get a new water bottle was that my old one was one of those ones with the sports cap, the ones that you have to open with your hand to drink from. And unfortunately, I do a lot of traveling around London. So I'm on the buses, I'm on the tube, and I just felt it wasn't very hygienic to have to open my water bottle with my hand to drink from it. And this is why I wanted to, first of all, just get a simple screw top water bottle. And I started to look at some plastic ones. But it was around this time that I noticed that a lot of people were carrying around metal water bottles. And so this just got me thinking about whether there was some sustainability difference between the different types of materials. So you've really got about three options when it comes to water bottles. So you get a plastic one, a glass one, or a metal one. And starting off with plastic, we know it's super durable, it's super light, but unfortunately it has some impacts because of the fact that it's made from crude oil and it doesn't recycle perfectly. So over time it could end up in the environment or in landfill, so that's not great. Then moving on to glass, it's really nice to drink from, but it's heavy to carry around and as everyone knows it can break and I actually had one of these glass water bottles during university and what I found out was it's not actually when you're using it that it's risky that you're going to break it but what I found out was it was super slippy when you're washing it with soap and water and I actually almost dropped it a couple of times and that's why I would personally at least stay away from glass water bottles. And finally we have the option of getting a metal water bottle that could be made out of stainless steel or aluminium and the good thing about these is they are super, super durable and they're not too heavy. But unfortunately, there is a lot of energy that's required to extract the metals and then make it into a water bottle. So onto the important point. Does it really matter whether your reusable water bottle is made from plastic or metal? And I would have to say not too much. And the reason I say that is because if you are already using some type of reusable water bottle instead of getting disposable plastic ones, then you are making the biggest step forward um, in terms of sustainability. And then the way I like to think about it is deciding over plastic or metal is basically fine tuning um, to get to the most sustainable option available. And I do have to say that overall, taking everything into account, I do come down on the side of metal water bottles, mainly for the reason that they are not made out of plastic. So what I think is that we can get a little bit caught up on all of the numbers and trying to decide exactly which type of impact is more important. For example, all of the energy that goes into the metal bottles or the fact that the plastic bottle is made out of plastic. But during my research, I did come across one really, really good article. It summarizes perfectly all of the sustainability details of the different materials and why metal does come out on top. So for those of you who are interested in a little bit more detail, feel free to look at the article. I'll leave it in the description for you. So as I said at the start of the video, I think this bottle highlights a few really important sustainability points that we can apply to any kind of purchases we make. And I just wanna share those points with you now. The first of these points is to try and stay away from plastic as much as possible. And the reason for this is that it's derived from crude oil, which is non-renewable, and it's not actually perfectly recyclable. And what this means is that over time, it will find its way to landfill or the environment. And when it does that, it will be hanging around for a long time. The bottle which I have, it uses no plastic whatsoever. What it does have is a silicone ring on the lid so that once you close it, it will be watertight. And that again is 100% recyclable the same way that metal is. The second point is to really value durability and quality. And you can't get much more durable than stainless steel and the bamboo on the lid, I know that that's a material that will age really well. It will look nice over time instead of becoming faded and not looking so nice. The company who makes this bottle is called Clean Canteen and they have a really, really good online reputation for the quality of their products. And their main business is to make these uh, drinks bottles and other food products out of stainless steel. So this is just another reason why I have no doubt that I'll be able to use this bottle for a long, long time to come. The third point that I want to make is that simple is often best with whatever we are buying. Part of the reason why I like this bottle so much is that it's so simple, there's no gimmicks, there's no water filters or sports caps. It's just a really, really simple screw top design. And because of that, I think it's going to last a really, really long time. 
And the final but possibly most important point that I want to make today is that you shouldn't forget the influence you have when you're buying products. So you might see where this is going in that if I had not seen people around town using metal bottles, I would not have thought twice about just getting a simple screw top plastic bottle. But because I saw people using these kind of products, I looked further into which type of material was exactly the most sustainable. So really do not forget the fact that when you buy something, you are impacting the decisions of other people around you, your friends, your family, and the people who bump into you in everyday life. And although I did say earlier that the most important thing we can do is to use some kind of reusable bottle, whether it is metal or plastic, what I hope to do by having made the fine tuning of picking the metal bottle is that to anyone who sees me using this, it's an advertisement of what is the most sustainable option and hopefully it will make them think about their decision when they do come to replacing their water bottle. Okay, so I did say earlier that I was going to let you know a little bit about what it's like to use. And honestly, there's not much to say. It's just a really, really good water bottle. It's a good size. It's about half a litre. So it's made by Clean Canteen and I think it's called Reflect. I'll leave a link in the description just in case any of you are interested in getting the same one. Um, if I had to pick a fault and this has to be really, really imaginative and I really have to stretch it, I would say it's a bit noisy to open and close and that's simply because the lid and the bottle are both made of metal. So as you can hear, it does make a little bit of noise when opening and closing. But that is something that I got over in the first couple of days of using it. And as you can probably see, there are more important points such as the sustainability and the durability. So that's really, really stretching it to say that that's a problem with the bottle. Overall, I'm really, really happy with this. Okay, so that is everything for today. I really hope you are able to take something away from this, even if you're not looking to buy a reusable water bottle anytime soon. Hopefully those four points I made apply nicely to any kind of products that we're buying. So first of all, let's try and stay away from plastics as much as possible because of their long-term impacts. Then let's really, really value durability and quality because I think those are the aspects that keep a product in use for the longest time to keep it away from landfill or recycling. Thirdly, let's look for really simple products. At least I think they're the most enjoyable to use and there's less things that can go wrong with them. And then finally, a point which I think is slightly neglected when we think about sustainable options and sustainable products is that we have a real influence on the people around us who see us using those products. So whether that's our family, our friends, or just people who we meet randomly around town. So please keep those points in mind. I think my next video will be about sustainable dental care, but until then, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.